Hey everybody, this is War Scars from the Dedo Guild, and we are doing the tutorial for the Labyrinth of Persistence, which is referred to as the Jin Challenge. Uh, it is the Genie in the Great Pyramid, um, and it is the Labyrinth, and I will show you a picture of the map once we get there, give you a reference, and you can Google this map. I may post the link afterwards. But here we go. One of my least favorite dungeons, but I've got to farm it myself. It's not very fun. So you're going to go to Sand Sea, go to Bastion, and you unlock this through the storyline as well. It's like every other dungeon. You'll probably be level 33 or 34 by the time you get to it, if not max level. But you'll just go to the Valley of the Undying King. Skiff Master. And if you've watched the other tutorials that we've been doing in the Sand Sea, uh, the, or the Valley of the Undying King as well. You can just go to this portal here, or, well, I'll show the options, just because I'm already there. You can travel, and we're going to go to the Great Pyramid. Um, I'll go ahead and run you there real quick. Although, if you view the other video, we had, it'll show you that quick way. So it's northwest. It's this biggest pyramid here. There's Garfield to the left over there. And then Krakos. And then Great Pyramid is here. So we're just gonna run on over there and get started. On a fun dungeon. Once you run it after a while, you kind of memorize it for the most part. <clears throat> fun times. Loss isn't hard. It's navigating that's hard. It takes the boss a million years just to cast a spell. If you can't dodge his attacks, then you might want to rethink about playing this game. Just kidding. All you got to do is practice. Whee! Go on into the Great Pyramid. You've got the Great Pyramid, which is going to take us to the Dijin Challenge. Um, the Labyrinth of Persistence is the name of the dungeon. Uh, this is for Scorpion. We'll unlock her. But we're going to go ahead and go to the Great Pyramid. Go straight ahead. Talk to this guy. Call No Beer, which is actually going to be the um, boss. He's the genie, as we know from the storyline. Uh, so the Fallen Sun Keeper crafting, what you want to keep this stuff, this gear. And you get this gear from um, pretty much every dungeon here, if not every dungeon. Uh, so you want to save that, even though it's 720. I didn't know this beforehand, I wish I did. And I started trashing it. This gear is better because you can infuse it to 15 infusions versus what I have which is the Krakos gear isn't bad to have um, I'll show you the difference so this is max infused and it only goes to 10 instead of 15 which makes it better and you can pick up quests from him you got a daily here to beat him get the gen treasure and challenge treasure. Um, all that stuff is for is cosmetics. The experience as well. Your gold. The gen essence. And you can trade that stuff to craft cosmetics. Which I'm not doing because I don't even like any of these cosmetics. But 
that's what you can get with that currency. The real currency that you go after is from beating the boss. Um, and you can farm him over and over get you need. And that is going to be the solar Dijin stone. Not the regular Dijin stone, but the solar. And you only get that. Nice, I've got 83. That's awesome. Um, side note on that. But that's what you need to craft all of this gear. And you also need each piece of the Sunkeeper out of that set. And the Sandestein alloy, uh, Sandestein alloy, excuse me. And you get that from a daily quest. We'll do a tutorial on that as well. Um, so that's basically seven days because you need one of those alloy per piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's not bad. Uh, once you go in, this is normal mode here. As you can see, you can get the Sunkeeper armor, cloak, and helm here. Which you'll need to craft that gear I was just showing you. Uh, you get gen essence, craft like the cosmetics and whatnot. Here's the challenge mode. Recommended five players. I do recommend that too because it makes it so much quicker. This is going to be a slow tutorial um, just because this is a long dungeon no matter what, even if you have five people. Uh, but it's going to be even slower because we're going to take you step by step. But you can skip ahead. That's the beauty of videos. Um, so, Jin Essence again. He gives you all these cosmetics. They look pretty cool. Uh, the sword, I don't know much about. Oh, 740. I didn't know that dropped here, actually. I like that sword. Huh. Nice to know. Um, and he drops the helm here. I'd like to get that sword though. Pretty sweet. I wonder. Can't bring up. Um, pop up here. No, I don't know how many times you can, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's 15, just like the gear. Fallen Sun Keeper gear. Okay, I was lagging there for a second. Come on. All right. Adina. Coming. Uh-oh. Well, technical difficulty. I'm sorry, I, I didn't have the, a good nut, and I didn't join the... Uh... Oh, no, that's okay. We'll just have to go back out real quick and then um, re-enter. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I need to uh, equip some potions. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Most definitely. And just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready now. Okay. And Chestnut, he can still hear us. He's just not talking. Ready. Alrighty then. Now I'm going to stop in here and I'm going to preview the map for everyone. Um, you can download it on Google. Basically just search Labyrinth of Persistence map or Degen Challenge map. And you will find this app here. Hopefully you can see that map. Maybe not. Hold on one second. We will... No, nope, no. Nope. Sorry about this.
Hopefully you can see that, Matt. You should be able to. But you can download that on the internet. So we're going to go. We'll pull that map up again. We are starting. Right here. We're going to go up and stay left. Just like this. I'm going to go around, wander through this little keyhole. Just like that. And when you get to red, once you get to this point here, you'll start seeing statues. You'll just stay left to go red. Just remember that, left to go red. If you want to go green, you stay right to go green. Zigzag through there, stay right. And then to go back, you reverse, which is obvious. Um, but yeah, we'll go for red, then we'll get green, then we'll go to the other side. All right, guys, so just follow me. And there's a quest in here to kill these mummies, um, which we'll do as we go. So we're just staying left and we'll let my guys catch up here. Okay, so you see the statues, notice that. You know you're going in the right direction. Notice how red is left, green is right. It's kind of a reminder. I call this the long hallway. So you remember where you're starting at. Once you start seeing colors, you know you're going in the right direction. Statues. And we're going through the keyhole right now. Okay, here's where it starts, where you either go left or right. Right about here. So if you want to go green, you go this way. Red, you go this way. Remember, you stay left on red. Anytime you can go left, you go left. What I mean when I say that. Let's see if I went left, I would have come around anyway. On going left, left and straight, left and straight. Much. Oh, oh, I went the wrong way. I did not follow my own directions. Where are my guys at? Did I lose them? I don't see you. But should have stayed left like this. I didn't mean to go that way. Yeah, they're in the right spot. Okay. I'll turn around and kill those before they kill you. Try to anyways. Get that aggro off of you. And these little guys are part of the quest too. Don't hurt the experience. Well, I might not have picked up the quest. That's okay though. All right, so remember you stay left. I made a wrong turn back there. It happens. Definitely happens. And here's the crystal room. Should be. Might be more forever. Yeah, right here. Okay, so when you get these crystals, um, you're going to want to do one thing. After you get the crystal, there's going to be a mob that spawns. It's going to have one um, elite monster and then a bunch of little mummies around it. You want to kill all the mummies first just because they're going to mitigate the damage that way. And then you take out the bigger guy. Um, and you do this because later on in the boss fight, you're going to spawn back to random crystals and you're going to have to find your way back. Uh, you will see later on in the video what I'm talking about. 
if you don't kill those monsters. Uh, it's going to make your, <laughs> your gameplay a lot harder. So that's one crystal. See, there's the big guy. And he's part of the uh, quest. I just didn't pick it up for some reason. That's okay. I'll show you where to get it. Alright. Usually you're by yourself when you're doing this. So it's a lot harder to kill those mobs. But we're traveling together for the sake of this tutorial. Now remember, we went in left. So we want to go back right. And I went the wrong Oh, I did. So go right anytime you can go right. The way back. Until you start seeing green. Red. Leave left here. Yeah, there's green. Okay, so this is the long hallway. That's what I call. It. It's what splits red and green. So here's the start of green. Want to stay left on green every chance you. Oop. Except for this part. Right on green. I apologize. Right on green. Left on red and right on green. I'm sleeping. I've been up quite a while. On one of those marathon nights. Stay right the whole time that you can. <laughs> We're getting there. You got to do four different crystals. And it does help to clear these mobs that are close to the spawn point right here. The crystal when you when you have to um, fight the boss you'll see why I will show you oh yeah it's so much easier when you got everybody with you but it is slower if you do it that way. And by the way, if you loot, you pick up that essence. So we stayed right. Coming this way. We want to stay left now. Going on the way back. So just reverse order. Sure my goes are alright. Stay left. Lost one. Okay, there you go. Stay left. And here's where it gets a little confusing. Let's see. There's red. Okay, so we go left here, I believe. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, no, it's not. And this should be where the restart is. Basically got two different ways to go um we're gonna go straight across this way like okay so here if you go this way this is north on the map that way is south which is where you start from the very beginning we want to go from the red and green room once you come out of it you want to come out here it's one of these turns here. It's not this one. Next turn. Right here. We're going to be heading towards blue. You want to go right. This one kind of just zigzags around. Oh, dead end. Kind of go either or on the sides. I like to stay left. It no, that's not it. You're right. Sorry. But blue is fairly easy to. Get. 
Este... Just kind of stay straight. And boom, you're there. <clears throat> Go ahead and get this crystal bottle waiting. All right, that's three out of four crystals. We got one more to go after this. On over here so I can AOE. Medina may be lost, but that is okay. And that's at the yellow. Okay, well, just don't. All right, we got that one unlocked. Head back the same way we came. Kind of like zigzag centered on this. On blue and yellow. That's the beginning. I go right from here. Zigzag around. We're going to go right. We're headed north. So you don't want to go that way. You want to go up through here. See the yellow? Yellow? It'll stay right on that side. Go around. Yellow will start up here. So to get to the boss, we're going to be heading directly this way, north, after we get yellow. Here's the yellow room. We'll come out and go straight this way to get to the boss. Now, we'll zigzag in here, similar to the blue room, which is zigzagging. And poof, we're there. So pretty much blue and yellow, you zigzag straight. In a straight line, and you get there. When you come out of blue, you make a right to get to yellow, and you stay to your right. Like I said, you want to make sure you kill all these guys that spawn. One, it's for the quest, and two, it's going to make <clears throat> the boss fight much easier. And you will find out why in a minute. So you stay right about this door. You stay all the way right. For a little zigzag here. And you know the exit by this right here. That yellow statue and these are kind of lit up yellow, 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 yellow. Do you stay right? When you see the double doors, you know you're at the boss room. And this is the boss room. It looks like the entrance, but it's on the north side of the map. And it's got the crystals, obviously. So, as long as everyone's ready, has their potions up, all that, we will go in. Um, just a, another tip. When you have an actual group and you're running this and everyone's getting their own crystal, you kind of just call out like you would, for example, be like, uh, what I like to say is, uh, you know, I'm... I'm G for green or I'm green or red or yellow. Um, and then if you finish it, you know, say it's clear, like if you cleared the mob, which usually you can tell someone's cleared it. 
but it's good to say that you cleared it in case we you missed one or somebody missed one that doesn't know what they're doing. And you just go in and fight. There's like, um, there's four phases to this fight. And he's really easy. He's not hard to fight at all. Oh, come on. But once he's at 80%, he's going to... Wait, did we go into normal? Dude. Oh no, I sent us in the wrong dungeon, guys. Well... Alright. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, only thing is, is you're going to have to run back. That's the difference. So, I'll just make a video on that at some point. But, that was a normal fight. Oh, Sunkeeper. I got Sunkeeper armor. Did you? I haven't looked. Oh, I did too, and I needed that. Which, the normal run is... Um, Quick and easy. I want to farm that Sunkeeper armor to craft the Fallen Sunkeeper. I suggest running this uh, if you want to do it quick, if that's all you need. But you can kind of do both. The other one. Um, you guys want to run the hard mode? Let's go. All right. Well, let me end this stream here. We'll give a little hoorah. And sorry for the hiccup. We went into the normal dungeon, but that's how you do the normal dungeon. It's pretty easy. A little levitate, a little bit of joy. Hoorah! All right. This is War Scars. We appreciate you for watching the tutorial on the normal version of Shin Challenge. Uh, we will see you next time. We will appreciate it if you follow the Twitch channel. Support us and we'll keep on throwing content out there for you. Thank you very much. This is Horse Scars from Deto and I'm out.